Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert. Today we're asking the difficult questions. Alexa, which search engine do you use? Hmm, I'm not sure. Hmm, I'm too embarrassed to tell you because it's Bing. <laughs> Ugh. Alexa, ask Google which search engine does Alexa use? thenextweb.com, they say, the Amazon Echo runs on the Bing search engine, so when it does not understand your query, it will occasionally ping Bing search results to your Echo app. That is Google's voice coming out of that box. C'est impossible, surely? So, these two companies hate each other. I, I, that shouldn't be possible. The reason it's possible is because Ross... Not this one, that's Ross from Friends. Ross, my friend, the developer, created this skill from scratch. Um, it is not an official skill, it's not something that you can install off the skill store because the two companies hate each other. If you want to install it though, these instructions in this video are going to show you how to do that. Now, because you will be registering on Amazon's AWS portal as if you were a professional developer, you will be asked for your credit card, because the idea is that Amazon would bill a professional developer if that skill was used a lot. This skill is going to be used by you and you alone because you're not going to sell it to anybody else and therefore your credit card will never be billed. Do not ask me to explain this ever again because I am tired of explaining it. If you are in my comments section right now, going, eh, I'm not going to give my credit card to some guy on the internet, I will just delete your comment because I am tired of arguing with you people. You're giving it to Amazon because you're registering as a developer. It won't be billed, I promise. With that said, enjoy. <laughs> Here we go again. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to start out by creating the skill, uh, which I think is the last thing we did before. So let's do that. So we're going to go to developer.amazon.com forward slash Alexa, and then we're going to sign in. Uh, if you don't have a username and password already, you're going to need to sign in. I will ask you for a credit card. I'm not going through this again. Just give it your flipping credit card. It's Amazon. Look, Amazon. You, they will probably already have your credit card. Get over it. So I'm going to sign in with the details I've already signed up with, and I'm in. So we're going to hover over here and go to skills. And then we're going to click create skill. So if it seems at any point like I have no idea what I'm doing, it's because I'm just following instructions. I am not the genius that made this. That is Ross. All credit to him. Uh, we're going to call the skill name Google Assistant for Alexa. You need to do everything I do in exactly the same way I do it. So uh, don't do anything differently. So that's what I'm going to call my skill name. You need to make sure custom is selected if it is not selected already. For me, it is already selected. So this bit's super important. I made this mistake and I wanted to die because I couldn't figure out what the hell I'd done wrong. You must pick the country that is associated with your Alexa account. If you're in the US, pick the US. If you're in the UK, pick the UK. If you're in one of the other countries, pick one of the other countries or you will regret it. Uh, I'm in the UK, so I'm going to pick the UK. And then I'm going to click Create Skill. That was easy. A skill is created. It's not that simple, I'm afraid. We need to click Invocation Name over here. So this is the invocation name. Uh, basically, it's the thing that opens the skill up. So you could say, uh, Alexa, ask my mum for the traffic report. Um, we're going to use Google. Probably don't want to ask my mum. Uh, but you can put anything you want in there. So that's what I'm putting in there, Google. You then need to click interfaces on the left hand side. And then we need to enable the display interface. So this one here, tick that box. And then click save interfaces at the top. Then need to scroll down on the left hand side to where it says JSON editor. Don't know who Jason is, don't know who that bloke is, but whoever he is, he's got a lot of information in here and we need to uh, change that information. So we're going to replace all of this information here with the stuff from uh, Tartan Guru's website. Tartan Guru being the guy that has created this skill. Uh, so you literally just paste over everything that's in there with the stuff from Tartan Guru. That information is in the description. You then need to click the save model button. And you can see it says it's saved successfully. If we scroll down on the left here again to where it says endpoint and expand that. And then select AWS Lambda ARN as the type. And just leave all of this empty for now and click save endpoints. On the left, scroll all the way down again to where you've got account linking and press that. 
and you need to enable this feature here where it says, do you allow users to create an account or link to an existing account with you? The answer is yes. Yes, we do. Scroll down here until you can find your redirect URLs, which are really handily really grayed out so you can't see them properly. Uh, these are important. You need to copy those and stick them in your clipboard. So I'm going to put them here in my notepad and call them redirect URLs. First one is that pit and gooey thing. We've then got this Alexa one here. Cool, we're going to need those shortly. This is the way that we're going to link Google to Alexa. You need to be able to give these redirect URLs to Google. So we're going to do that shortly. And by shortly, I mean right now. Uh, so we're now going to visit console.cloud.google.com forward slash project in a new tab. So we're going to leave the existing tab open because we actually have to finish this stuff off later on. We're going to pause here so that we can set up the Google part of it and then go back to the Alexa skill uh, shortly. It may ask you to agree the terms of service if it's the first time you're coming here. Uh, agree the terms of service, pretty obviously. Um, I don't need to do that because I've been here a few times already and you can see I've got something actually waiting to be deleted uh, from a previous install of this exact skill, as it happens. Uh, we're going to do it from scratch though, we're going to go to create project. And it doesn't really matter what you put in here, I would put in something like Google Skill. That kind of makes sense. Uh, you can see it's given it this very impressive project ID called Savvy Bonito, which is very nice. I like that name. You will get something different. Don't worry, you should get something different. That's the whole point. It needs to be a unique name, and that's why I've got a unique name there. You can leave everything else as it is and press Create. You can see this spinning thing here is it creating my project, and if I click there, you can see it says create project Google skill, just now, in fact. And you need to click that to load up some more stuff. Look at all this stuff. That's some stuff. I don't understand any of that. Okay, we need to open another browser window and visit console.developers.google.com forward slash APIs forward slash API embedded assistant .googleapis.com forward slash overview. Enter. Uh, so that link again will be in my description to save you trying to fill all that out. And this should take you to an API manager. You need to click this big fat button here that says enable. You see it says enabling API. And then we need to create some credentials. Look at that. It doesn't even look like a button, but it is. So click this button that doesn't look like a button. Well done, Google. This is a terrible, terrible GUI. In here, you need to select, very important, Google Assistant API. You will be calling this API from a web server. Example, node.js Tomcat. And then click this button that actually looks like a button. What credentials do I need? So the name of this thing is going to be Google underscore assistant. To get an underscore, that's like a hyphen, but you hold down the shift key on your keyboard to get an underscore. So Google underscore assistant, it must be written exactly like that, all in lowercase letters. And you need to scroll down to where we've got authorized redirect URIs. These URIs are these things. So this is how we're going to tell Google, it's okay, we'll allow it. We're going to let uh, Alexa control you. Uh, so these are like, I don't know, like security keys. So authorized redirect URIs, that's one of them. Yours won't look exactly like that. You'll need to use the ones that you copied. That's why you copied them. If you use mine, things will go wrong. Don't do that. So you can see the second I put it in, it immediately gave me another box to fill out. So that's because we need to put in all of these. So I'm going to put in the second one. So then you can click the create OAuth client ID. OAuth client, whatever that means. So on this page, you'll find your email address has already been entered in here from your Google account. Uh, it will be whichever one you have logged in as, and you'll need to make sure, I should have said this earlier, that you're logged in with the one you intend to use for doing your Google searches. Uh, so this is hibbertstestbed at gmail.com. Feel free to email me there. I will totally ignore you. Uh, this is not an email address I use. It is only used for the purpose of setting up these tutorials. In the product name shown to users, just type in assistant and with a capital A. Not sure if that's important. Let's pretend it is. Make sure you put in assistant with a capital A and then click on the blue continue button. So you now need to click this download button and this is going to download some security stuff from Google so that we can authorize Alexa to get into Google. So we need to keep hold of this file. That's uh, something you're going to want to make sure you can get hold of shortly. What you then need to do is go to show in folder so you can see that file which will be in your downloads. And we need to just rename it. So just change this word ID to secret. Super important, again. So client underscore secret dot JSON. If your version of Windows is not showing the dot JSON part, don't add it in, that will break things. Uh, just call it client underscore secret and leave it at that. Uh, if it's got the dot JSON on the end, fine, leave the dot JSON there, but don't type it if it isn't there, because it will make it a dot JSON dot JSON file and that will just not work. 
Scroll to the bottom and press done. Click this Google underscore assistant here and it will take you to another page where we need to do some more stuff. We need stuff. This stuff will be unique to you, so you need to copy this stuff to your own clipboard and stick it in your own notepad file. Don't use mine. Again, this will all just not work for you if you use mine, because I will break it on purpose so you can't control my stuff. That would be annoying. I'm using the word stuff a lot. That's my client ID. You need to copy that uh, from here yourself and stick that in your notepad file. I'm going to do the same thing for secret. Cool. That's ready to go. We are now done with Google, so you can close this tab off. So next, we're going to visit aws.amazon.com. And we're going to log in with exactly the same details as you used for the Alexa Skills kit for this thing. If you use different details, it will not work. So I'm going to go sign into console. Uh, you can see I've got my test bed and sign in. Again, it might ask you for a, uh, a credit card at this point. You're just giving it Amazon. You're never going to use it. Don't panic. If you are a North American type person, you need to make sure you choose US East North Virginia. This is mega important. If you choose anywhere else, it will not work. If you are not in uh, North America, if you're anywhere else in the world, you need to choose EU Island. Again, this is really important. If you do not choose one of those two options, if you choose anything in between, it won't work because basically Amazon are silly and they have not released all of this stuff to the whole world yet. They've only released it to certain locations. Uh, so you need to choose one of those two things whichever is closest to you. Next, choose the services drop down and we're looking for cloud formation. If you start typing it, it should pop up. There you go, cloud formation. So we're gonna click create stack. Under choose a template, select specify an Amazon S3 template URL and then paste in this massive thing here. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what that is. You're going to find it in my description. If you get that from the description, paste it in and then press next or we'll be well. Stack name should be Alexa Assistant. All in one word, capital A, capital A. Do it exactly the same or things might not work. Click next. In the options page, just scroll down and press next. You need to tick the box that says I acknowledge that AWS CloudFormation might create IAM resources and then press create. This is going to take quite a long time because it's going to take everything that Ross has made for you from his server and it's going to stick it into AWS so it becomes a part of your Alexa ecosystem. Uh, I, I sound like I know what I'm talking about, don't I? I absolutely don't. Uh, if you keep pressing refresh, you'll see this create in progress should hopefully complete. It's highly recommended at this point that you make a cup of tea. Ba-boom! You can see it says create complete. We are there. It is all doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, some of these will still be in orange, uh, don't worry about that. If it says create complete here, it is done. You now need to go to the outputs tab here, and you need to copy all of this to your clipboard and paste it in here. So I'm going to call that my function ARN, because that's what it is. Function, definitely not right. Function ARN, Paul, function. Cool, you're going to need that shortly. Again, that's not how you spell function. That is going to uh, be used to, again, authenticate between Google and Alexa so they can talk to one another. You now need to go back to the Alexa Skills Kit developer page so that we can finish off the job. We're going to take everything that we've created within Google and paste it into here to link the two things together. So you need to open up the custom tab again so that we can scroll all the way down to endpoint and open up endpoint. You need to choose AWS Lambda ARN so that you can start to populate this stuff. This stuff is the stuff that we've just created. So in the default region, that is where we need the function ARN that we've just this second created. So we're going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in there. And then we're going to click Save Endpoints. And you still see it says Skill Manifest Save Successfully. So if you scroll back down to the account linking page and open that up, Make sure this box is ticked. I think it ticked it earlier, but it seems to be unticked again, so make sure that is ticked. Make sure auth code grant is selected, not implicit grant, whoever grant is. And in the authorization URI, paste that. Again, it's in my description. Access token URI should be that. Again, it's in my description. The client ID is in our notepad, so that's the thing that we got earlier on. You need to copy that and paste it in there. It must not be empty. It's not. Get over it. Client secret is that one there. I'll copy that one. Still get in there. Make sure client authentication scheme is set to HTTP basic. Under scope, press add scope and paste that in there. Again, in the description. Press add scope so you get another box and paste that one in also from the description. Under domain list, press add domain. 
And in the domain, type in google.com, all in lowercase letters. Press add domain again, and type in googleapis.com, all in one word, all in lowercase letters, and then click save at the top of the screen. Click on build here at the top, and then click three, build model. That is building a model. You are now done with the developer console. We don't need to do anything else. It might be tempting to go through and try and submit the skill for certification, but you don't want to do that, so do not do that. Uh, open up another window and go to s3.console.aws.amazon.com and you should have at least one here. Uh, you might have more if you've done more stuff in here before, uh, but the one you're looking for is obviously your Alexa Assistant S3 bucket and you need to click that, so click on its name. You now need to press upload and then where it says add files here, press that. And you get a load of pictures of Paul looking like a doofus. Uh, you will not get that, you will get something else. You need to navigate to where you downloaded that file earlier on. So this client underscore secrets dot JSON that we downloaded, uh, we now need to upload that. Again, make sure you renamed it like I told you to earlier. If you haven't renamed it, this is all gonna go wrong. So it should be called client underscore secret. Do not click next. Don't click it yet, you are not ready. Do not click next. Click on the upload button. So rather frighteningly, it just closes the screen and you think, did it do it? Did it not do it? It did it, don't worry. We are actually finished, but you need to just make sure that you are giving Google permission to share all this data. So all you've got to do is visit myaccounts.google.com forward slash activity controls and come in here and tick all these boxes. This is just saying uh, you are happy to share all of this stuff with the Alexa skill. So tick that box, 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 tick that box. So now what we need to do is link the skill to our Amazon account in the same way as we normally would do with any skill, but this is a special skill. It's a special skill made by you for you. Uh, you could do this on your mobile phone. I've had difficulty in the past of doing that, so I'm actually going to visit alexa.amazon.co.uk. I'm going to do it via my PC. So if I visit testbed uh, at paulhibbert.co.uk and log in to that and go to skills, so you'll notice this looks exactly the same as it does as on your mobile phone. I'm just going to go to your skills because it's something that we are already owners, owners of. We own this skill. Uh, so if you go to all skills, you can see I've got Google Assistant for Alexa account linking required. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to enable the skill for my account. And it's going to ask me to sign in with my Gmail account. So I'm going to sign in with the accounts that I have set everything up on uh, today. And that is that one. And it's saying that Amazon wants to enable some stuff and I'm quite happy for it to do it. Allow. Google Assistant for Alexa has been successfully linked. This looks good, doesn't it? I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help give something back and keep this channel going, there are links in the description to do that too. I'll see you next time. But it is not. Thanks for the video. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, why am I doing that with my hands? Which should be impossible, but isn't. Uh, there are, I don't know what I'm on about. No, 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 no.